Hey guys, I'm Hoshka, and welcome back to part 10 of my beginner's guide to Halo 5 speedrunning. This series is intended to point you in the right direction if you find yourself interested in learning the run. This is primarily targeted towards easy runners, which most of the routing will consist of, but I'll share some legendary tricks from time to time just in case you thought about trying or are generally curious. So let's continue with the game's 10th mission, Enemy Lines. After exiting the Pelican, proceed forward while running past enemies. Up these rocks and thrust over here. Pick up the plasma grenades under this bridge, as you'll need them later. You're intended to blow up this shield, but we want to go fast. So just jump here, clamber onto the shield, and thrust over it. Grab yourself a ghost and continue. Maneuver around the grunts and geometry and boost up this ramp. Hold right bumper to lift your nose, or left bumper if you're like me using the recon controls. Once you land over the shield, raise your nose again and boost for this left corner to get your ghost up here. Same thing here. Once down here, there's a shield on the other side of the map. Begin shooting at it on your way over. Drop down here, raise your nose, and boost up this ramp and continue to fire on the shield until it finally goes down. From here, park your ghost at the bottom of the stairs at either side and climb up here to activate the door. Once you drop back down, get into your ghost and continue up the stairs while assigning your team here. Now, just turn around, wait for them to jump down, and splatter them, which is required for the next part, which I'll explain in a second. Now you want to make your way over to the Phaetons. Take out this turret and park your Phaeton carefully here. Once entering the Kraken, take out the shield with a shoulder charge and a battle rifle shot, and take out the core with a plasma grenade. As a backup strat, you can run up here and grab the Banshee and escape. Ideally, you want to run back out here and re-enter your Phaeton. With your AI dead, the Kraken will begin to fall once you're off of it. It only takes one person to be on board to massively delay this, as the game waits for friendlies to be on the ramp before it allows the Kraken to fall. Once through this door, pick up the splinters from this cache and head towards the back. Swing in here and trade for an incineration cannon. Once you get back here, be sure to look up at this hologram to trigger the dialogue for the button. Once pressed, it's just clearing out the enemies. I tend to throw splinters here at spawn to take out the knight and overcharge the other side to kill his buddy in the turret cabin. The rest after that is just a few soldiers, a couple turret captains, and a couple watchers who primarily stick by the captains. Once clear, head through the doors and end the mission. Here's an alternative strat for Legendary that makes this room pretty consistent for full game runs. Bring the Phaeton here as normally and park it carefully on the edge of this ramp and get out. Once you exit, be sure to walk to the top of the ramp to trigger a load and walk back to the Phaeton. When you see the objective tag, get back in and head for the doors. To get through, hold the descend button while holding forward and thrust through. Once inside, casually move to the back at about mid-height. 
jump out at the back of the room, look at the hologram, and press the button. You can pick up the incineration cannon if you'd like to spawn kill the soldiers that spawn over the center, but the premise is to jump back in the Phaeton and clean house. Yet again, once everything's dead, head out the door to end the mission. If you take the Phaeton out, be sure to be close to the ramp, as flying too high will miss the entry. Another mission in the books. Once again, I'm Hoshka, and I'll see you back for the next installment, where we check out the final auto-scroller, Before the Storm.